You're a history professor. Yes. At Hillsdale. Hillsdale College. For a long time. Hillsdale has a phenomenal history program. Um, a lot of people in this day and age, both students and parents, because universities have become so woke, I mean, woke even compared to when I was in college 10 or 15 years ago, some people wonder, is it even worth going to college at all or a college that tends to be liberal? What are your thoughts on this coming from being a scholar, being a historian, understanding the value of education? When I was going to college, it really didn't make much difference because uh, there was a bias, of course, toward the liberal view. But a lot of my professors were open. And so if I would make conservative statements and support them, they would say, well, what do you think, students? You know, what do you think about this? And even though they wouldn't agree with it, they would enjoy the discussion. That, unfortunately, has tended to disappear today. And so it is a difficult situation for students going and having their views challenged directly by the professor without giving any credibility to alternate points of view. That is a challenge, Liz, and it's something that parents and students have to be aware of. And when they make decisions about what college they want their child to go to, if they want the child to go at all, they have to take that tremendously into consideration. Hillsdale College is just exploding with enrollments, mm -hmm. at, at least applications. We can't take everybody because people want to get away from the political correctness and the woke culture that you've just talked about. And that, that's that been the case even since I was in college where the professors no longer want to debate. They, they, they want to squash you. They don't want to entertain alternative viewpoints or um, yeah. engage in that logic. But the difference between a decade ago and now is that there's a culture of, well, cancel culture on right. campus. And that did not exist to the extent even 10 years ago that it does now. And so it's not just a matter of, oh, are you going to get downgraded on a paper? Are you going to become the target of your professor? It's, are other students on campus essentially going to try to tar and feather you? And that, that to me, I mean, my daughter's only 18 months old. She's not quite ready for college. <laughs> but that to me, even as a parent of a young child, that environment is not someplace that I would want my young adult child to be. It may not last long. In other words, you talked about the change in the last decade that you've seen in your own, from your education to today. But uh, by the time your 18-month-old uh, child gets to college, I think we may have so much online education and so many different alternatives to the traditional college that it may actually be easier for your daughter, it's a daughter. Yes, right? it'll yes. be easier for your daughter than it will have been for you or for the current students. It may only be a one decade or so long crisis, but while it's here, it is a tremendous crisis, and students have to be very careful what they get into. And a lot of them are, are trying to do it by taking certain courses at a community college. Yeah. Often, often community colleges and tech schools, are a, you're able to navigate much better than traditional four-year state institutions. Yeah, which is a very interesting phenomenon. Uh, I, I personally think it's both financially and ideologically smart yes. to do that. I would encourage students to do that if they can. 